Greetings, Clashers of all ages from all around the world, and thank you so much for stopping by Clash of Clans Attacks, where the sneak peeks are just about wrapping up. It looks like, if all goes as planned, December 10th is the date for the Town Hall 11 update, and I know you guys are ready. I am absolutely ready. And it's definitely a mixture of excitement, anticipation, and a little bit of nervousness. So much is changing for the game of Clash of Clans. Not just the addition, of course, of Town Hall 11, but so many changes across the board. How is trophy hunting going to be affected? How is farming going to be affected? Will the balance of war be changed? Will the new sweet spot become Town Hall 10 or will it stay at Town Hall 9? Will a Town Hall 11 three star be a possibility? Who knows, but today, We've got some Town Hall 11 replays in store, and if that is what you're interested in, make sure you stay tuned to my channel in the coming days and weeks, and also be sure to check me out on Camcord. It is a live streaming app free for both Android and iOS users. I will be live streaming the update on the day it drops and giving away over $500 in Google Play and iTunes gift cards to help you guys get ready for Town Hall 11, or 10, or 9, or 8. But in any case, Town Hall 11 is coming soon. It should be December 10th. I know you guys are eager for this update to finally be released. Now that date has officially been posted on the Supercell forums, but like anything else, it is subject to change. So we'll just have to wait and see. But for now, it looks like we've got just about two days left to get those Town Halls back on the inside. Yes, farming bases will never be the same. Now you've got to protect that town hall as if it were a storage. I cannot wait to see the new designs that are come up with for all different town hall levels. I can't remember when an update was released that has changed so much in the game. I of course have Gallad on the maxed out Town Hall 10 going to maxed out Town Hall 11. I've got Gallied on my Town Hall 8 who just got 6 stars in his last war against some 8.5s and I've got my completely maxed out Town Hall 2, my brand new farming account called The Dawn who will be farming from the ground up. And as always, I will be reading the comments on all of my videos, so please do give me your feedback. Let your opinions be heard through social media because you know they do want your feedback. They want to know what you guys think of this update after you've had a chance to play it, after you've experienced it firsthand. So here we're watching another raid and check out the top of your screen as you see the Eagle Artillery firing already on the units as they've moved in. It is not going to be easy to miss when you see a unit being targeted by the Eagle Artillery. There is a freeze spell stopping that firing mechanism from going off a second time. So there will be more than ever going on in a raid at Town Hall 11, but you'll have the opportunity maybe to click on the Eternal Tome like right there and protect those units and check it out, save them from the double giant bombs on the inside as well as protecting them from the Eagle Artillery. So a lot to be taken into consideration with the new abilities, passive and active of the Grand Warden and of course that new Eagle Artillery, the bigger base design, the extra defenses, so much going on at Town Hall 11. I can see where it's a great idea to add 30 seconds to the battle timer, especially at this Town Hall with so many things going on, but what will it do to Town Hall 10 hybrid attacks, to Town Hall 9 war attacks, that extra 30 seconds, and the free spell at Town Hall 9 making a big difference. The addition of the level 3 witch, the level 7 minion, will those troops be used again at Town Hall 11? Will we see a new strategy emerge from the clouds as the clouds hopefully dissipate? Farming is going to change. Trophy hunting will no doubt change as well. And who can forget the additional dark spell now available to be donated to the clan castle? The changes in the personal break, the ability to attack through a shield, to attack and then be able to walk away and not be revenged immediately or sit and wait and plan your revenge and just spam that revenge button without ever having to be off of shield either. Who knows, there may be a huge resurgence in revenge attacks in Clash of Clans. So as the Town Hall 11 update creeps ever nearer, we are closing out the year 2015 and I just wanted to take a moment to thank every last one of you, you guys, the YouTube viewers and subscribers out there, whether you realize it or not, you are changing people's lives for the better and I owe all of you a debt of gratitude. I realize I can't please everybody all the time, but that is one of the great things about the YouTube community. There are so many different content creators that make such a wide variety of videos you can choose 
who you want to watch, who you want to interact with. And those of you who are long-term subscribers to my channel know that I've always done my best to answer as many of the YouTube comments that I possibly can. And that's probably why I like live streaming so much because I feel it's a two-way street. It should be a back and forth conversation. I have always tried to listen to your guys' input and make videos that you guys enjoy, content that you want to see. So please do continue to give me that feedback. Let me know what you guys like, what you don't like, as I am trying to get better every single day. Just like in attacking, as in YouTube, there's always room for improvement. Also, I would like to get your guys' direct feedback about my quest to 5,000. What is the best first step? Do I get out and attack with a maxed out Town Hall 11, or do I try to defend and hope I catch a Town Hall 10 off guard? As always, you guys, thank you so much for sticking around all the way to the end of this episode. Please don't forget to check me out on camcord.com. I am always eager to interact with as many of you guys as I possibly can, and of course, when Town Hall 11 comes out, I've got over $500 in gift cards to give away. So until tomorrow, get out there and make every attack a full attack. Galidon, it's all about the free spill on the gym box. That's right.